Hello friends, it's time for another Big John Little Tips. Today we're going to talk brushes. The most important tool for any miniature painter, because without it you're finger painting. They say the brush is mightier than the sword. Well, it's the pen, but fuck them, what do they know? It's the brush. <laughs> Alright, first off, you're getting started. You don't know what to start off with, but you know you need brushes. <clears throat> mm, a little parched. Hang on. Mmm. Distilled water. Trust me. Great for painting and mixing paint. Also good for a parched throat. You want to use distilled water over tap water. Tap water has chemicals in it that are perfectly harmless to us and sometimes beneficial, but they murder your paint. Just like the small ferrets that are murdered for some of my brushes. But, we'll get to that in a minute. Walmart. Almost all of you know where a Walmart is, unless you're from a part of the world that doesn't have Walmart, in which case, I am sorry. You can buy a 25-piece assorted cheap set with made out of this stuff called Gold Teclon. It's a synthetic hair sub, or, uh, replacement. Uh, 25 of them for 5 bucks, And you can most of their brushes you can get for 5 maybe $10 at most. They go for the detail set. They're cheap. They're good to start off with. I started off with them myself. And you don't have to drop huge amounts of money on brushes. The next step up will be Army Painters, uh, or there are other brands, but I like Army Painter the best for their uh, their synthetic right. brushes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Get a beer. Yeah, the cameraman needs a little drinky poo. I was about ready to cough. <laughs> and I didn't want to cough from him, and I'm like, then I popped that beer, I'm like, well, it doesn't fucking matter at this point. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. I'd have sprayed some distilled water over there, but I'd hit the camera, yeah. and you'd be pissed. Please, go ahead. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. <laughs> so, one of the best sets, in my opinion, for the beginning miniature painter, Army Painter makes it. They're the Dungeons and Dragons, Nozulars, Magnificent Mansion Creatures, whatever the hell it is. It's about 10 bucks. You get the three most important beginning miniature brushes this is a dry brush it has very stiff bristles usually they're synthetic and this is for obviously dry brushing which i will have a video on how to dry brush at a later date this is your base coat brush this is for painting the broad strokes of your miniature and then you have a nice detail brush this is very small but I think it's about a size zero would be the artistic equivalent. Let me see the other two. I'll show them that. Yep. So they get the... They're going to get... Eric's going to give you a close-up while I ramble. Dry brush. <laughs> Good. Base brush. And you already had the fine detail with yes. the first one. Yes. And the fine detail is one of the more important to me. Now, this set, it's fantastic. It's all synthetic, but... It's a very good synthetic hair replacement. This will cost you about 10 bucks if you look online. Amazon, your you know, online game store like Manager Market, you're going to find these for pretty cheap. Now, Army Painter has a, long, a vast line of brushes. These are the next uh, smaller sets, which you have the highlighting brush. And this is the super detail brush. And with those three, and if you just wanted to buy these two, which they're only a couple bucks at a game store, or again online, uh, you can paint just about everything. Now, the next step up from that, slightly more expensive, are these. They are Army Painters, uh, like, Master Design uh, series or whatever. These are made out of Kalinsky Sable, which is uh, a ferret type thing. They, uh, they don't actually have to kill them. They just take the tail fur, separate it out from the little nasty ones, and they make these nice brushes. They hold a point. They're really nice. And they taste fantastic. Like the souls of a thousand small ferrets that were sacrificed so I could paint great miniatures. Mm. Now these two, I don't remove the plastic because, uh, well, you're not worth it. This is my insane detail brush, and this is my Psycho. This one's got like 10 hairs on it. Look those it are, up. Those are the real names too, right? Yes. That is what they are called. This is the Regiment, which is their sable basing brush. Insane detail. You know what? Just for you guys, I'll do this once. But 
like a samurai sword, you can't just unsheathe it without drawing blood. <clears throat> this is the insane detail brush. A comparison, this is your base brush. Now, my favorite, my secret weapon really, is like a barbarian's great axe. The Psycho, and this is the base brush. I love it. It's great for painting small eyeballs and any of the other ridiculous shit you want to paint. What's that cost? Um, well, you can buy the entire Army Painter pet brush set. There are ten brushes, and it includes the Regiment, the Psycho, and the Insane Detail, and a few others for $40. Um, you can buy three packs. One of the three packs is actually the Regiment and the Insane Detail. Yeah, I don't, you don't get the Psycho, you have to buy it separately. I think it nowadays is about six bucks. Five to six bucks. Used to be much more expensive, but now that they have them mass produced, they're much cheaper. The three brush sets, I have notes, are, um, where are you? Yeah, 12 to 15 bucks. They have two of them. One is the sable brushes, and one are the synthetic brushes that are color coded. Dark red means fake hair. White means souls of a thousand crying animals went into your miniatures. Now, do you feel that that kind of handles better? It is nice, um, especially like these super fine details because you don't have to roll them to make a point. The one problem I do have with the regiment is sometimes you have to roll it on your palette like this to make the tip. It's a little bit harder with this for some people, but for control, holding it, stopping it from move, they're fantastic. It just depends on your grip and how you like them. Now, the higher end. Some will say that you, if you want a really high end brush, go with Windsor Newton Series 7, and they make a fine brush, but they're also 15 to $30 a piece. This is my baby, the Da Vinci Maestro set. It's uh, handmade from the finest small ferret soles by a, an old German man, which is funny because Da Vinci was Italian. I'm getting off topic. This was uh, about 30 bucks for the three pack, and you get this, which it's more of a shade brush. It's rather a bit too big unless you're painting larger miniatures. That's the number four. This is a number zero, which is basically a slightly smaller basing brush. I love this one, I use it the most. And then you get the five zero, which is about the same size as the Insane Detail, except it's got a fatter belly. Now, what that allows for is it holds more paint. Um, sometimes what the belly is. it's the this part of the brush, right? You want the tip to stay fine, but you want it to absorb and hold enough paint that, uh, well, you can keep painting more than just one little line. And uh, that's why a brush like this is your workhorse if you want a fancy brush. But you don't need a fancy brush. It's all about the skill of the person. And you don't want to buy a fancy brush when you don't know how to use it because there's a lot of cleaning involved and conditioning your brush fur. It's actually worse to... Uh, maintain the hair on my brushes than it is to maintain the mohawk. But, those are the types of brushes that uh, you would want to paint along with us. I'd recommend if you, for your best bang for your buck, especially when you're starting off, just get this D&D three piece set. It's fantastic. It's made by Army Painter. The brushes are really good quality and they're going to last you for a while as long as you keep them nice and clean. Um, a little side note, uh, brush soap. Sounds like something you probably don't need. I'd recommend you pick it up. It's called Master's Brush Soap. Look it up on Amazon. You'll find it. It's about five bucks for a little jar of it. It'll last you for... Uh, I've had it for two years and I've barely noticed that it's gone away. And it cleans out your brushes and keeps the hair nice and smooth and luxurious just like Cat Williams' hair always is. Um, another so small note. Whenever you're using this brush, all any brush, especially the uh, nicer brushes that you pay good money for. Never let paint dry in the Fey Rule, this little metal part, the neck. You can let the paint go up there if you accidentally do it, but make sure to clean it out when you're done, because if it dries up in here, you can't clean it out very easily, and it ruins the point and the bristles. It just, it just destroys your brush, so don't do it. 
This has been brushes, and this is part one of... You forgot your Walmart brushes. Oh, shit. Yes, I did. For the affordable. Yes. I said the price, but I didn't show them to you. I apologize. Thank God Eric's here. This is about what you're going to get for the in the $5 set. It's got these nice plastic handles, which I actually like. And the Teclon's not terrible. I mean, um, how many do you get there? Is it like 10 brushes? You get a 25 pack for 5 bucks. Oh, that's right. That's the um, big wide one. That's the one that has pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. You buy that pack, you're going to get some detailed brushes, you're going to get some foam brushes, you're going to get some plastic palette. Perfect for terrain. Definitely perfect for terrain. You even get this ridiculous monster that I've still yet to find a real use for. I, I just like it because it's like a great axe for killing chaos minis. But start off with, if you want, just go to Walmart, start off with that cheap brush pack, five bucks. Most people can eat five bucks, and you've got brushes for at least terrain. But if you want something just a slightly higher quality, then go with these. These are fantastic. And for the price, you really can't beat it because you get everything. Uh, well, that was part one of my tool, se tool time style section of what I use to paint with. Join us next time for whatever I choose, probably paint. Maybe. We'll see. I never quite know. Until then, have a wonderful day. And remember, craft or die, death craft style. See you next time. Hey, I forgot one thing, and I know that Games Workshop's going to hate me for this, even though I love most of their things. Do not buy their basic brushes. They're crap. They're way more, way too expensive, and the tips always, like, fray out. And it, I hate them. So save yourself some pain, and don't get those. The Artificer line is good, but those are pricey. About the same price as a Windsor Newton. But that's my last part for this video. I just had to tell you to save you. So PSA Deathcraft style.